Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph by using your x and y intercepts. So in this case, I have an equation that's going to be negative 2x plus y equals 8. And what we talked about, when we look at a graph and we see that it has an x and y intercept, we know that the x intercept um, has a y coordinate of 0, and the y intercept has an x coordinate of 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much break this up into two cases. And I'm going to want to be able to determine what the y intercept is and what the x intercept is. And what we talked about, the y-intercept has a value of 0 for x, and the x-intercept has a value of 0 for y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in those values. So I'm going to plug 0 in for x to find the y-intercept, and I'm going to plug 0 in for y to find the x-intercept. So therefore, I'll have negative 2 times 0. I'll put it in the parentheses to represent me plugging it in, plus y equals 8. And then for the x-intercept, I'll have negative 2x plus 0 equals 8. Well, negative 2 times 0 is going to be 0, so I'm just going to be left with y equals 8. And over here, plus 0 is just going to be there, so I'll just be left with negative 2x equals 8. Then divide by negative 2 on both sides, and x equals a negative 4. Now, to graph this, what you see is I have a y-intercept of positive 8, so I'll go up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then my x-intercept is negative 4, so I'm going to go to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, these are both of my two intercepts, my y-intercept and then my x-intercept. And then I just can simply connect them to create my graph. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph using your x and y-intercept. Thanks.